What's up, y'all? It's Tasha, and I'm back with another video. Stephanie's walking to the elevator right now. I told her, let me get some stuff out of the car. Um, I'm gonna do a prank on her. Uh, I know she's been getting me back-to-back, y'all, but I'm gonna be honest. I ain't the pranker. She is, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to do something. Um, and I'm sorry I don't have your name right now. Uh, you told me to put stuff in front of the camera or put stuff in front of Stephanie's face, like the whole video, because you know she don't like stuff like that. She likes to have her videos good, so I'm gonna try to do that. But also, you guys... What I'm going to do is, actually, the other day, I'm trying to make this quick. The other day, last night, actually, um, I was uh, I took her phone to look through her email to do something. But the first email that popped up was it had her ex-girlfriend's name. It her ex-girlfriend's email address. Like, she had emailed her ex-girlfriend. But it was it was something. She told me what it was. Um, but anyway, the whole point is it looked like she had emailed her ex. And, like, one that I know still likes her. That one. Uh, so... I'm going to act like I didn't believe what she told me because I didn't investigate. She told me whatever. And I was like, all right, believe it. I don't care. Whatever. So, but I'm acting like I didn't believe it. I'm acting like I didn't believe it. I have an issue and she hiding something from me. So, you know, I'm doing two pranks in one because one of my pranks always fails. Actually, they both do. But uh, I'll see y'all in the video. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gonna eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no click play. What up, y'all? Hey guys, it's Steph and Tasha. And we are back with another mukbang video. If you are new to our channel, please check the rest of our videos out. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Hit that subscribe button if you want. Remember, you gotta push subscribe to subscribe and set your notification to all. If you've been here before, welcome back, baby. Tell them what we're doing today, you guys. We are doing the sushi mukbang. Yeah. And I got a couple of your topics. Okay. I actually got a Poke Bowl here too, y'all. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So let me tell you guys what we have. We have takoyaki. If you don't know what that is, it's octopus balls. Do you know exactly what's in it? Nope. Okay. Octopus balls. It has octopus and balls. All right. <laughs> we have a dragon roll, which is ill and some other stuff. We have a Las Vegas roll. Oh, they doesn't, it doesn't show what it is, but it has tuna yellowtail or something on top i don't know y'all sorry i think that is yellowtail. we got albacore onion roll which is this one yeah this is the albacore i'm sorry and this is the las vegas roll which has shrimp tempura uh spicy tuna and all that okay we got nigahama roll okay. a nigahama roll <laughs> nigahama whatever that's this right here it's yellowtail scallions and the rice um and then stephanie have a has a um that this is a poke bowl i have spicy tuna crab tofu and then whatever came with the bowl y'all i found this uh i'm sorry um let me see you gonna keep that right there oh <laughs> you tried this right it was good yeah i like it okay so that's the sweet soy sauce we have ginger and my newly my new love wasabi you guys so i got all kind of sauces here i got this um unagi sauce which is eel sauce this i found this i think this is chinese then we have soy sauce and we have sweet soy sauce so i don't know what i'm, I'm doing over here with no pork <laughs> i'm about to try this with you know, see. nothing on it no i'm not yeah yeah mmm I like how their sushi looked on the Yelp. To me, it looked fresh. Mm. The fish looked good, so. It needs some um, eel sauce on it, though. I want to try one of these. I haven't had an octopus ball in. I don't think we've ever eaten these, huh? Mm -mm. I used to go to this. What is it called, y'all? They they grill the meat on this thing. I cannot think of what it's called, but they used to make these octopus balls. They were bomb. What you need? This thing that's sitting in my No, oh. it's sitting in my place. I've never had an octopus ball, mm. but I'm about to. Hmm. Ooh. Mm. Uh, should I not? Um, it's not bad, but it's not what I remember. This one's real mushy inside. I don't like the texture. What about mm. the flavor, though? It's, I don't taste it. I will, but I'm asking mm. you what it tastes like. It's not real fishy. It really don't taste like much. No. <laughs> I already feel the texture. Yeah, the texture is way too mushy. Oh, no, nah, man. Yeah. No. Nah. Mm -mm. You gotta have it from the spice out. Like, 
Mm -mm. The texture of that is bad. It's the texture, y'all. It wasn't the flavor. The flavor was, I don't even know because I wouldn't taste it. That's not it. Definitely not it. Would you just have one of these? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Now, I think this is the Las Vegas. I already know I'm going to like this because, I mean, this is what I eat. This is spicy tuna and uh, shrimp tempura. So, oof, let me get it. Come on. Mm. Oh, that's good. Sweet soy sauce in here. I wish y'all could see it. Do I, um, spinach? Mixed greens. Oh. You know how they do it with rice? Mm hmm. You can get bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you hand me that water, please? This is a dragon roll. So this is eel with a California roll inside. Mm, that's my favorite. Always has been. Must have finally discovered that I like eel. I need some spice. You know? Mm -hmm. Let me throw some wasabi on here. I don't know if this is too much. Mm. You like your food? Mm-hmm. You ever said I just was like to put out more sauce. Uh oh. What is the flavor? Mm. Oh, that was sloppy. Mm. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is kind of teriyaki-ish though. I don't really want that flavor in here. Oh yeah, you did say that. What? what Look at what they're looking at. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah, you don't gotta get an attitude. I'm not getting an attitude. I'm just like, what the heck? Okay. Well, it's not that serious. <laughs> I want some spice. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to do this, y'all. No, not next. Do I want this? Yeah. Yeah. Let me try it. Let me try it. I'm gonna try this, y'all. So I have. A couple topics, y'all. You do? I'm just messing with y'all. Mmm. That's good. Tastes like a beach. <laughs> that seaweed. Mmm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it's fine. It's good. Tastes like a beach, though. Mm hmm. Tastes like I got beach water in my mouth. So the first topic is like very short. Ooh. I'm not even going to read it. I was rough a little bit. It's a little rough. Yeah. Did Go you ahead. put the um any sauce on it? Mm-hmm. A little bit. It's a little bit rough. Is this the seaweed sauce? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Yeah. Tastes mm -hmm. like you went and that shit fresh as hell. Yeah. It tastes like the wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh uh. Yeah. It, it like you got you got you went to the beach and then you you know, you got dragged under the water a little bit and some of the dirt and all oh, the yeah. stuff got in your mouth. That's too much for us. That's for advanced sushi eaters. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good. The ill one. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, quick first topic. This girl, I think she said she was 17. I see. She said she doesn't want to start being intimate with people. Good. But she wants to explore it herself more okay so she wants to get a toy okay but she um she wants to ask her mom <laughs> to get it. oh so she was like should i ask her how do i ask yo adult mom about that right i understand and um i understand that's something that she said well we want our daughter to ask this <laughs> Too. okay so i said if i was her I probably would find a way just to get in my, find it myself. Because mm -hmm. I wouldn't feel comfortable Talk to talking to my parents about that. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if you are comfortable and you guys have an open com you know, open relationship like that, mm -hmm. you guys talk about that, I, I don't feel like it would be hard to ask. I, I'm pretty sure your parents would prefer you to ask than to go out and experiment with people. Mm -hmm. So, um, I 
I don't feel like I would have asked my mom, but I feel like I would have been uncomfortable maybe asking my mom that and I would try to get it myself. But if my child asked me that, I would not be embarrassed. <laughs> you know, I would be like, oh, okay, well, I'm glad that you are able to come to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that you don't want to explore people yet and you want to just do it on your own. Mm -hmm. And I would just ask that you please be quiet when you use it. <laughs> Fine, when do it when I'm not home. Right. You know, because I don't want to have to envision that or anything. Okay. But um, I think that it's a great. I think you should. I think you should. I think you should ask. I mean, yeah, honestly, I mean, what else can you do? If you can get it yourself, I would. I think you have to be at least 18 or 21 to go inside those stores. So you would have to order it online. I don't know if you have your own debit card or what, but if so, you can order it online. I don't know if your mom opens your mail or if she's gonna be like, well, what is this? And see what it's from. I mean, maybe that would be the best thing. Just order it, she's gonna see it and be like, what the hell? But be like, hey, mom, trying not to explore. I wanna say I've seen them on Amazon, but I could be wrong. But um, I'll say this, whoa, wow. Really? He's gonna come right into the video? And land it right on your mm. ginger. Mine came from CBS. I can't wait to kill him. Mine came from CBS, okay? Look for a massager. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, she done had that thing <laughs> longer than <laughs> she's had me. Shut up. <laughs> have you? That thing's been around longer than I have. It's been around for a while. Yeah, and if you don't wanna, you know, be embarrassed going into that kind of store, mm-hmm. And you want to get it on your own, go to CVS. You don't have to be 18. That's crazy. All my people I've been with have had bows. Y'all some women, feminine women? Y'all some, uh, I don't know, something. Mm -hmm. There's something about y'all. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. No. Maybe this you not being pleased. No, that's by me. No, you definitely please. But I'm sure the ex that you was emailing last night. What? Who was I emailing? The email I saw. Oh, it wasn't even the email back. What was it? Something else. What time did you? What? You want to talk about it out here? <coughs> okay. Really? <laughs> Which one? This. Mm. What I was gonna say, this leads me to something that I thought about that's kind of related. If you had a kid that was active, what? Babe. Okay. What? Come on. I'm they gotta you. be able to see what we're doing. Yo, Addison. You just gonna keep putting it right here? Okay, give me my water. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, if they were active, intimately active. Yeah. Would you be okay with them doing that at the house? Hell no. Because <laughs> you know we know we have somebody that says they prefer that their child does it at the house. No, ain't nobody no. I don't know what I prefer because I mean I prefer I don't want to talk about it, but uh No. I kinda feel I don't want anybody doing it in my house. I wouldn't want my sister to come over here and bring her boyfriend and do it in my dress room. I know this you is a topic. You can't wait to do it when you get home. I know this is a topic that people think differently on. I think there's a lot of people that allow it and will prefer. No, I don't. Because they say, like, um, they know that their child is safe or something. I don't you know. Something. I don't know. How are they safe? I don't know. Like, you know who it is. They ain't out there just. Now, I'm just, just doing whatever with anybody. Mm. And then, you know. Well, mm -hmm. 
they ain't trying to sneak and do it in an unsafe place. Girl, how's white sauce? Whatever. I don't. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't either. I don't want to hear about nothing. I don't want to know. I don't want anything like for them to be in my house and I might hear it or that's just why it's disrespectful. Mm, I'm not into it. I would never do that at my parents' house. They can't even see your face. Oh. They can see my face. I, you can see half of my face. You want them to look through this? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. So anyway, like I was saying, like I was saying, uh, I feel like it's kind of disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Maybe cool not so much. Me yeah, too. Cool whatever you do, okay. that's fine. Right. Y'all like this? So, y'all interested in this? Stop playing. Just put it down. So, oh, that's good right there. All right. <laughs> so, like. <laughs> yeah. So, no. We don't agree with that shit. No. All right. I don't necessarily agree. Now, I have another topic. This shit, I feel like it's fake as hell, but. I'm sure somebody can relate. So you feel like the topic is not real? Uh, it's, it's, the person it's, is lying? It's too out of control. Okay. It, seems, it sounds like a joke, but maybe somebody is dealing with this. Is that what you were laughing about in the car? Yeah. <laughs> maybe somebody is dealing with this and maybe not so at a, such extreme level that this seems like to me. <clears throat> but. Why are you asking me do I want to talk about it on the video? So like what? You, about what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? You text me. An uh, email? Yeah. But I ain't text nobody. So I don't know what you're talking about, first of all. Email, text, whatever. Sorry. I didn't email anybody. I didn't text anybody. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. I like how you dismissed me. It's okay. I didn't do any of that. Okay. You want me to say, yeah, I did? No. Okay. Okay. All right. You just didn't give me a good excuse, and then I just said, okay. I said, look at whatever you want to look at. You can do whatever you want to do. Okay. All right, go ahead. <clears throat> nineteen-year-old. I'm a nineteen-year-old stud dating a forty-six-year-old divorced woman. Ah uh ah -uh. ah uh ah. -uh. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Mean, I, was, uh -uh. I, I was seventeen. Exactly. What? Okay. What you about to tell me? That that lady's too old for her. That lady's too old for you. Three kids. You are a baby. That lady's too old for you. One boy who is twenty-three. And two girls, 20 and 25. Now, well, my husband's is 19. I have kids older than you. Yeah. All right, your step kids older than you, okay. The problem is these kids don't respect me as their father. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't your daddy, ma'am. Especially the youngest one who's 20. So the 20, the 25 year old and 23 respect me as their dad? Their 19 year old this father? This that said they don't respect me as their father? Mm -hmm. I really love my kids, but how do I make them respect me? <laughs> they think I'm only after her money, but she's the only woman that I've ever connected with on a spiritual and emotional level. I moved out from my foster home last year, and I've been staying alone for a while. Now I'm thinking about moving in with her next month, but I'm scared of my stepkids. I've tried reading a lot of parenting books and still not getting the answers I need. How do I make these kids love me? <laughs> First of all, they're not kids, man. <laughs> you ain't goddamn kid in the situation. <laughs> what are you talking about? How do I make these kids love me? <laughs> you ain't nobody daddy and you never gonna be anybody's daddy. Now, if you decide you want to be a male to female, female to male trans, then you can call yourself somebody's daddy, okay? But you are a stud, like you said. You ain't nobody daddy, and you never, you probably be her daddy. You ain't the kids daddy. Even if this was like a straight relationship, though, and you, let's say the, there was a 19 year old woman Boy, coming into it talking about they don't respect me as their mom. I would laugh too. Nobody is, no, nobody gonna that's respect you not as how nobody. It works. You're 19. Right. They don't need you as their mother. You need to just do whatever you and the mom are doing together, and that's it. You, you don't need to do nothing. Really you up here trying to, uh, what, discipline them and shit? They're what do you do at 20 ass. years? I mean, at 20, 23, and 25, what are you doing anyway? As a father. What are you doing? To a 25-year-old? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing to do. How does a 19-year-old father a 25-year-old? They don't. But I'm just saying, if you did come into these people's lives, let's say if I these, got with a person adults. right now, yeah. if I got with a lady right now with three kids, same thing, I'm not going to come in and try to be their mom. It's They're grown. Right. Mm-hmm. 
They don't need one. They already got one. What? They've already been raised. You still need to be raised. How you gonna raise somebody? Exactly. You uh, need to go on and let the 46 year old be your mom. Uh, maybe she is. I think that this was a joke. Okay, me too. I, don't, crazy. I think she was trying to make us laugh. Thank you, because it was very funny. <laughs> when she said, how do I make these kids respect me as their father? <laughs> that shit was funny. Uh, if you are serious and we are making light of your life, I am sorry, but you might need some help right. if you were serious because father, you need to you, you need to focus on yourself focus and get your life together. How, do, how, do, like, how does a 20 year old look? You might want to <laughs> try to date them. She's already been smashing the mom now. Oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day, that would have smashed the girl and her mom. Not at the same time. I'm just playing. You're not playing. Yes, I am. You would. I've never done that. No, no. I've dated several would you people. you try to be the kids that? No. <laughs> when I dated females who children were just a couple years older, or I mean younger or older than me, uh, I don't think they were older. I don't think nobody was older. They either didn't have kids or the kids were just like three, three, four years. I didn't pay no, I didn't even look at the kid and the kid didn't look at me i never even dealt with their kids because it didn't have nothing to do with their kids what you think she came up in there trying to do as the father <sighs> did you do your homework she uh, trying to like homework. play fight them what do you and, like, hold them on her arm i mean <laughs> they ain't even strong enough they bigger than you i don't what know what the hell do you come in there trying to do i wouldn't come in trying to parent anybody's 19 20, 18, 17 year old child. Mm -mm. Unless that child wanted me to. Unless they needed it and they asked for it. That ain't got nothing. That's almost, that's a half grown person. Anyway, that was a funny joke because I, I just feel like that ain't real. Oh. Go ahead. All right. I wish I could smack the shit out of that thing. Oh. Uh, but it's glass. Thought she was talking about me. What you want to do? What? She gonna do? If you slap me, nothing. I'm gonna yeah, right. You gonna leave? Yeah, I'm gonna leave. I'm done. Yep. I'll, 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 I'll <clears throat> you if you slap me. Do you think? Um. Uh, would you divorce me if I slapped the shit out of you? Um. It depends on why. Um, if I think, if I feel like I deserved it, what if I just no. got really upset? over something that's just going on in my life and I just hit <laughs> but wait but then I apologize and I'm like no I really didn't mean it I <clears throat> no. you believe you can't just be abusing me for nothing all right because you stressed out that day no. yeah I'm stressed out absolutely right. not don't let people hit you guys even if you're two females so anyway yeah that was a prank I was putting the bottles in front of you um then what about the other thing you weren't fucking feeding into it what so was the prank to do I was trying to act like I told them like I looked at her phone yesterday and the first thing that popped up is her ex-girlfriend's name and the email it looked like she had sent her an email and I was like, what is this? And she was like, oh, it's just some, she just said some little rinky dink excuse. And I believe her because I mean, I ain't, nobody not believe nothing, you know, whatever. But you could be lying and making up a whole thing, you know? But anyway. They about to take this around with you. I don't give a fuck. Let I them. do. I give a fuck. Oh my God! Was it fine? She probably is talking to her ex. Oh God! If she is, then so be it. As long as I don't know, I don't give a fuck. How about that? So y'all know if she's talking to her ex. What? No. No. It's not. As long as you. <laughs> Wait. Did you just say call me? Did you just say call me? You said no, long you. <laughs> don't play with me. No, I don't play. That shit ain't an email, y'all. Don't even be thinking no bullshit. I don't fucking cheat on my wife. I didn't say it was an email. I said it was whatever it was. It was Facebook doing some weird shit. Whatever exactly. the case is, I understand. Okay, whatever the case is, is what it is. That's fine. Facebook be trying to do stuff. But the point is, they I was be trying, trying to, to get your ass caught up. Yeah, I was trying to act like I was mad. But you just didn't feed into it. Because I know you're not going to do it on this. <sighs> I'm leaving. Bye. Bye, y'all. And also, you guys have any suggestions for two-player games? Oh, Ow, I told you. What? Stop I was trying to scratch no. my ear. Don't play. No, because look, I was trying to scratch, scratch my ear. No, because the people think they can call and then they're going to get in trouble. You the first one that's going to get in trouble. Not them. I don't give a fuck. If somebody call you because you said call me, you in trouble. <laughs>
<laughs> you, yeah, you will. You know your life is not going nowhere. I'm sprung over. I ain't life. worried about you going. You can go all you want. You gonna look dumb as hell. Okay, I ain't going nowhere, baby. <laughs> Daddy puts the debt. Shut your ass up. <laughs>